You know, I think we had indeed a, a very robust quarter, and importantly, it was the fifth consecutive quarter of, of profits. And uh, with that fifth consecutive quarter, we're now a net positive company again, which is very important. That means we've sort of dealt with the losses incurred during COVID and been able to recover that. We're growing at a fast pace. We had a 27% growth um, in the last quarter. Uh, and actually, we realized our ambition of having 100 million customers in the calendar year 23. So clearly, uh, things are going in the right direction, and the strategy we put in place are, is really bearing fruit. I think there's a couple of challenges, of course, also on our hand. One clearly is the supply chain challenges, which we're having, um, resulting in a, in a significant number of AOGs. Uh, but with the right measures, we've been able to deal with that. And secondly, of course, is the pace of growth needs to be um, uh, go hand in hand with a greater uh, a growth of capacity at airports. So I think those are two two challenges ahead. But again, I think we've been demonstrating over the past year uh, to be very well able in dealing with them. Uh, could you elaborate a bit more in terms of the measures uh, that you're putting in place uh, to deal with those supply side challenges? No, what we have done is actually we've extended the whole range of our existing leases. We have had uh, a couple of wide bodies, too, to be precise. Um, on them, please, we have uh, reintroduced uh, a number of, uh, of planes which have left the fleet. Uh, and with all those mitigating measures, actually, we have um, announced earlier that we were to have a capacity guidance for a uh, full year, to, uh, fiscal year at uh, 24 in the range of uh, the north of the mid-teens. And um, we have upgraded that forecast last Friday uh, to the 20s, which means we're able to, to reconfirm actually all those capacity guidance we've given by all those different measures we've taken. Okay, uh, talking about your fleet expansion and obviously given the news at hand, uh, in 23, Air India and Indigo ordered 970 planes uh, from Boeing and Airbus. Uh, how are you looking at the, the controversy around Airbus 737 MAX uh, and the related variants uh, in terms of the reputational damage that the company is facing right now? You know, for us at, at Indigo, we're, we were already having a, a very solid order book um, until June of, of last year. We were having uh, a little short of 500, 470 ish planes on order. Uh, we've decided to further expand it last year uh, by indeed making a massive order of 500 new planes. To, largest order ever actually um, with a single manufacturer and for us that airbus 320 321 order is basically providing us a very solid outlook for the next decade really um, and that means for the years to come we will getting a new airbus 320 321 coming in pretty much each and every week and with that we're able to actually in a very adequate way, address the growing Indian aviation market. And I think the Indian aviation market is still at the, at the early stages of where it potentially can be. A growth of 20% uh, of for Indigo in the last year is, is sort of demonstrating that. And this massive order will help us to further build on that potential, the enormous potential, really, of the Indian aviation market.